Hey there, it's Exuberant Dave. Um, back with y'all on, what day is it? It's Friday. Um, tomorrow I'm going to be going to the Fruit Luck in Santa Monica. Pretty stoked on that. And I just wanted to share a video about watermelons. Um, one thing that I've learned when I was working at the farmer's market is the way to pick the, the juiciest and sweetest watermelon is by the pitch. It's the, the higher the higher pitched ones are generally sweeter and denser. It is sometimes, this one is the much smaller one, sometimes the, the smaller ones, but it, if you're comparing ones with similar size, the highest pitch is going to be the best watermelon for you. Uh, I just got these last Saturday at the uh, Irvine Farmer's Market, and they are orange flesh watermelon. Show you. Pretty cool, huh? Watermelons are a really, uh, really amazing swirly patterns. Three groups of uh, symmetrical swirls. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna gonna do. I guess there there's been a watermelon challenge going around, and so I'm gonna challenge myself to it and um, eat this watermelon and I'll, I'll show, you, show you the results when I'm done. So, I finished one half. The way I like to eat watermelons is with a spoon. Um, just dig into it and eat it like that. Um, sometimes, I also like to uh, blend them up. You can cut it out, cut off the rind. Um, Put it in the blender, blend it up, it makes it, uh, it's kind of easier, uh, just because you're sipping it, but, uh, yeah, I think, I think I like eating them with the spoon the best. This summer, I was working as a lifeguard at the beach, and, uh, watermelon was my, was uh, one of my staples. Watermelons and grapes probably were my two, two, uh, staples, other than bananas. Bananas and dates also, but... Uh, for a while, I was really going going big with the watermelon. I would just eat uh, those little ones, like the personal watermelons, eating up to four of those a day. Uh, that would be... I almost didn't have to drink water because they're so hydrating. Uh, that was... I Yeah, fond memories of eating watermelons, sitting at the beach. Um, made myself a little list this time of things to talk about. <laughs> I've already covered almost everything. Um, oh yeah, I also wanted to talk about uh, food combining. Watermelon, um, most fruits, you want to eat them before you eat other stuff. If you're going to eat other, um, like cooked, cooked carbs or proteins or, um, or any other food really. Uh, fruit first is, is my, is like the general rule. Sweet before, uh, sour also getting more specific within the fruit, um, and melons are supposed to, they're saying, uh, eat them alone or leave them alone. And that's, that's cause they, I guess they just don't mix well with, uh, with other stuff. Oh, excuse me. Uh, so, so yeah, there's a little, there's a little tip, tidbit about melons. And if you're going to eat them with other stuff, I would just recommend eating them first because fruit is, you know, simple simple sugars and fibers and a lot of water so it can digest very quickly um, if you eat something heavier say like chickpea um, tofu or whatever any other cooked whatever you want to eat um, if you eat that first and then put fruit on top of it it's going to ferment while it's waiting in line to get digested so you definitely want to stick to fruit first um, and I guess on the second half, I forgot to time myself on the first half. I want to make it like, uh, I don't know, impress everybody with how fast I can eat watermelon. So I'll show you the clock. It's uh, 142, we'll say. And uh, I'm going to race and see how fast I can eat the second half of this watermelon. All right, see you in a bit. So here I am. Last bite, second half. Mmm. 
That was so good. And how did I do? Call it 149. That's uh, eight minutes for the second half. I think the first half was a little quicker. It was slowing down towards the end there. Um, not that you should eat watermelon as fast as you can, like I just did. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> anyway, oh yeah, an update on my my uh, running. Last three days, I ran for about an hour. Each of those three days, today I was gonna take a rest, but then the waves were looking really good, so I went surfing for two hours, and so I rode my bike down there to my brother's house, walked about 20 minutes to the waves, and then surfed for two hours, walked back. So I still got some, still got some cardio on, on walking and on my bike, uh, and and got in the water. And the water is still so warm; it's amazing. It's been so nice this whole summer, um, and the waves have been pretty big too, which uh, which is which is okay with me. Anyway, um, hope you have a great Friday, and I'll see you next time right here on Exuberant Dave.